what's up tech lovers you are all welcome to this new video tutorial yeah it's fabrice from makia correct so it has been a long while that i have not been doing pc tutorials so today let me deliver you one of the videos you guys have been asking so today we are going to be looking at the top three android emulators you should use on your computer either you are using a low end pc or a high end pc but this video is mostly favorite to low end pc those of us that cannot have the means to afford a high end pc but we will be able to play high end games so please if it's your first time on the channel click on that subscribe button hit on the notification bell and stay tuned for my latest hacks and flicks on i can see you next after the intro video which is actually a new intro video so let me see a review about this intro video in the comment section ciao Okay, so back into the video tutorial. So I guess you all watched the v the new intro video. So as I quietly said a while ago, we are going to look at the top three best emulators for both high and low end PC. But this video is actually favorable for those who that of those of you that have low end PC, give you the ability to play high end games no matter what you have because not everybody has the capabilities to actually afford a high end pc so the emulators are going to look in today are going to offer you the ability to play modern games like perk mobile online i have perk mobile I have arena free fire wow so any call of duty online so any recent game that is being played online these emulators are going to enable you to play the games online so when i'm talking about a low end pc also called a potato pc I'm talking of a computer that has, let us say, two gigabyte of RAM, a hard disk size of forty gigabyte, and a dedicated graphic card of either zero megabyte, zero megabyte, thirty-two megabyte, sixty-four megabyte, one hundred and twenty-eight, or even two hundred and fifty-six, either an Intel HD or a AMD GPU. So that is that. So let us start. So please, if you are first on the channel, click on the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to stay tuned with my latest tricks and hacks on IQ Codex. So last, it, it has been almost one year ago. So I did a video about the best Android emulator for a Zero VRAM PC and it went quite so well. So I'm very grateful for those of you that commented and I also took my time to reply at each comment. So this video is kind of an up, uh, is kind of an update because I'm going to give you what is actually needed because what I actually found in the comment that people were, ask, were asking for the emulator that will be able to run Gerana, Free Fire, Perk, Mobile, Call of Duty. So the emulator studio are going to offer you the ability to run all of this on your PT2 PC. So let us get into the first. So I've, as I said, we had that three of them. So the, the third, so I'm going to go to three, two, and one. So let us start with the third. Place. so in the third place we have blue stack so all of us know blue stack blue stack is a very very popular and rich emulator that has, is very very popular as i said is known for its popularity so blue tax blue stack for up, will offer you the ability to play modern android games on your potato pieces so as i said blue stack is very very popular because it is well known for its popularity many people are to use so blue stack exists in a 64-bit version but the good thing about blue stack 4 is that you can actually choose the operating system as i said windows 32-bit so yeah potato pc can either run 64 or 32-bit if it's a intel quad zero or a quad core so you can swap the blue stack version of the what the blue stack 4 34 bit version so all you do is that you go right away and download it and it's going to very very set so the minimum requirement of running blue stack is a dual core processor we need a two gigabyte of ram one gigabyte will be okay but a two gigabyte and it will work on the zero so what will give an advantage that if you have a 32 bit 32 megabyte graphic card is going to be advantageous to you but if you don't have it, no matter, it's going to be good. So Blue Stack is taking the third position because of its popularity and its ease to use. So Blue Stack is very easy to use. The user interface is very easy. So I think I have a video that was explaining how Blue Stack works. Because if you want to look at some of the Blue Stack, let us say Blue Stack 4 GUI. So the graphical user interface of Blue Stack is pretty pretty awesome to install app download app so you can see yes a screenshot five reason why you should download the latest blue star for so you can see we have fifa 20 we have gerana free fire so we have clash of clans so all the modern games that you know can actually be played 
on blue stack and blue stack 5 already exists but blue stack 5 are actually is actually for high end pc because blue, blue stack 5 only exists in a 64 bit version and needs at least a minimum of 256 megabyte of virtual memory to run it so that that is it so so install blue stack if you love the gui and actually want to play most of the recent games now let us move to the second position so what comes in the second position is lz player so lz player so oops before i forgot i have a screenshot of the blue stack so let, let me for show you so there it is so you can see OS, we have Windows 7, we have GPU, CPU, Intel, or AMD processor. So it can be Intel. So let me say, as I said, a core, dual core AMD processor, dual core, at least two cores. So, and also now for the GPU, you can see GPU is op OpenGL 3.0. So graphic card that actually support OpenGL 3.0 and graphic card with a minimum of 32 megabytes of VRAM or 64 megabyte of vram so if your computer has a zero vram so i'm not advised to use blue star because zero vram actually does not support the open gl 3.0 so the ram size is for two gigabyte of ram and the memory five gig and please if you have a ram larger than this is okay if you have lower than that except so it should not be lower than one gig so if you have 512 ram is it will not be enough so if you have at least one gigabyte of ram 1.52 and above so you are okay to go so now the next and read that we're looking at is lz player so lz player most of us will know it so i did a recent video on lz player as the fastest and letter so lz player is known for it so it as the name says it's very very fast and provide gaming at any level of your choice so lz player support with an android version of 7.0 you're able to be played you're able to play most of the recent games out there so you can see what among us you can play Berk Mobile, you can play um, Gerana Free Fire, you can play League of Legends. So any game of your choice, name them. So it is very, very free. So it exists in what the Lollipop version, what the Android 7 version. So Edit Player is the second Android emulator that takes the second position in our video of today. So if you have a potato PC, let us check at the recommended. So let us check at the requirement of NZ Player. So running NZ Player, you can see you need a Windows 7 8, 8.1.10, either 32 or 64 bit. That's a really, really great advantage. I need a CPU of dual core. So it has been stated. So Intel or AMD dual core. So now you can still have GPU 2.0 compared to the GPU 3.0. So compared to all OpenGL 3.0 needed for BlueStack 4. That is a really great advantage. So the only problem with LG player that it requires more disk size. So you can see on Blue Stack 4, you re we required actually you actually needed five gigabyte of storage, but LG player you will need at least thirty six gigabyte. So you can see thirty six. So it actually requires enough of memory. That's the only problem with LG player because it takes a lot of memory after installation and file size three megabyte. So that is it. So if you have a computer of a core duo, you should just have a hard disk. So you can just sacrifice forty gigabyte for the space and you can see the ram it is set two gigabyte of ram minimum and four gigabyte recommended so no matter the frequency of your rams if you have a two gigabyte that's a minimum so you need at least two gigabyte to run lg player and the four gigabyte ram is recommended to run it in a smooth way and please the android so the vram needed here the virtual memory here is actually you can run it with a 32 megabyte 64 and 128 megabyte ram so either intel hd 4000 intel hd 5000 so depending on any graphic card you have as far as 32 megabyte 64 or 100 so but if you have 128 it's going to be very, very advantageous so you're going to have a very great time using LG player so as i said it support most of the recent games out there with an android version of 7 so you can see android version 7.1 so all the games you can name the mobile league of legends class of clans free fire so there are a lot of them so that is that for the second best emulator that comes in our video now the next though the last the first the crown to the throne it is actually lip dress so by the name i don't uh, so most of you are not going to know it so the name is actually called lip Draw it so here's the name of the app. So the Android method is called Lip Droid. So Lip Droid is one of the newest Android emulator out here because most of you will know the name. So I think so it's one of the newest Android emulators and the most lightest. So it is actually known for its lightweight. So that is why Lip Droid is actually cool. So let us look at what says the system specs. So you can see we have Lip Droid. So Lip Droid will run on Android 7 
on Windows 7, please. Windows 7, 32 bit, and 64 bit requiring a CPU of Intel or AMD dual core and a GPU of OpenGL 2.1 and up and above. RAM of 2 GB of RAM, memory size 2 GB. So that's what is very, very good about this Android Milton. So, in terms of PC spec, it actually demands a little in terms of space, demand a little. So, that is the key fact about this Android Milton. So, please uh, let me do the correct spelling of this. So, LibDroid, let us look at that. So, as the name says, it is one of the newest Android emulator out there now. So, LibDroid, uh, so you can see you can have it on any platform. So, I'm going to leave the download link of each of these Android emulators in the video description. So, you can see a lot of games can be played on LibDroid no matter what. So, you can play Perk, you can play Gavana Free. So, on LibDroid, so it is 100% free. You don't need to pay for anything. As I, as I said, any, you don't need to pay for anything on libdroid so if you check can libdroid run bug so that is that the link drop it is available with android so you can play bug mobile or many android games with keyboard and mouse so you can see it runs on android version 5.1 giving the ability to play bug given a free fire so any game of your choice so some other great emulators now for android emulators for high-end pc users i'm going to advise you to use well, Blue stack 5 we have lg player setting them at the optimum level so if you are uh, i made some videos on how to set lg player i don't know if so i've never so maybe i'll prepare the next video on how to set libdroid so the best configuration for libdroid but if you have a potato pc installing libdroid and running it at the recommended state is going to run very very fast and very very good so that is that so if you have a high end pc you can use Nox player which is another very great emulator you can use blue stack 5 so that is that so thanks for watching the videos thanks for making it up to the end i'm very grateful for you so please a little reminder if you love the video keep a subscribe button hit the notification bell and leave a comment in the comment section so bye see you next in my video tutorial it was fabrice from akia kodak